the shooting of a local mosque. This as mosque leaders open their doors to the community. NBC Connecticut's Abby Nisgoda live in Meriden with the story. Abby. Keisha Meriden police will be keeping a close eye on this mosque, a mosque that will have an open house tomorrow after a shooting that city officials tell us they are one step closer to solving. You can shoot at a faith, but faith is bulletproof. A week that started with bullets could now end with justice. In Islam, we value justice so much. Tonight, Meriden officials say they've identified a suspect in last Friday's shooting of the Battle Amman Mosque. At this point, it is the one and only suspect. Mayor-elect Kevin Scarpati says Meriden police uncovered the suspect, but because the Paris attacks may have triggered the shooting, the FBI has taken over the case, and he can't say much more. I cannot say at this time uh, where we stand at, at the uh, apprehending that suspect or if they're in custody or not. It just really goes to show you how quick the FBI is. And if there are people out there that want to do something similar, don't. But they know there could be others out there who are thinking of committing hate crimes towards Muslims, and their solution to that is inviting the community in to see them pray today and for an open house tomorrow. Whatever question is going through anybody's mind, are you guys affiliated with ISIS, or what is Islam about? There's no dumb questions. And as authorities search for answers as to why the suspect chose this mosque, the Muslims who attend say there's no question when it comes to forgiveness. To whoever the alleged suspect is, we just want to let them know that we forgive them. And in fact, we want to invite them to our mosque and to learn about who we are. And at the open house tomorrow, not only leaders from this mosque, but also a representative from the FBI. They'll be on hand here to answer any questions from 2 to 4 p.m. We're live in Meriden tonight. I'm Abby Nisgoda, NBC Connecticut News. Jerry, back to you. Thanks.